and you see it. I'm gonna go on and increase it from 125 to 150 so we can see it. And I scroll down and I see what is happening here. And as I go on and I see what is happening here, I go on and I see, and I see this has something here. What does this mean? Is this an input professor? What this means is my question. I don't want Esther to give me an answer. I want some other people to give me an answer. I want Isabel to give me an answer. What does this mean? Um, that's the input you're trying to manipulate to find uh, the means, highest and the lowest and is, amount. And Isabel, when she gained, she started the class, she said, Professor, I want to be in the class. I don't know much math. I don't want to be confused, but I want to get an A. And I said, fine, do you have two fingers? She said, yes. I need one finger to put it into shift and the other to put into return key. And as you put into return and shift, you will have <coughs> everything here. <coughs> and you will have it. And now this says input one. <coughs> what happened, Isabel? Um, you're trying to find the the lowest and the highest amount. <coughs> and I said I'm gonna give you the code to you. So I give you the code and I go on and I look at it. And as I look at it, it's all Greek to me, all the way up to here. But if I go here, this is not Greek to me. That's English to you. And that is what I want you to be able to tell me. And these are the courses for the summer of 2020. And I want to know what is the problem. And I want whoever did it, the queen to tell me what is the meaning of her first sentence. And this is her first sentence that ends up with the first comma here. What is this in plain English, Esther? This is my um, my variables. In coefficients. But I see things in two colors. I see things in black and I see things in light blue. Yes, so things are the variables. And the I variables. don't know and I don't know what is variable. And Kadisa that doesn't have a computer. And she's like me, she doesn't even have electricity. She wants to know what she, what you're trying to do. Esther, we are listening. Okay, Professor. Every, every name represents a letter. Every letter represents a coefficient. So, uh, every every classes, for example, statistic, uh, management, echo, and finance has an a, a, a special function in this problem. They represent every class represents the variables. In this problem, we see that the objective function is maximize the number the courses available. So it's saying that for a statistic for Anderson. Every every name has a special different classes and is divided by different classes. Anderson uh, is classified can be classified as statistic management finance and echo. 
So for each name, we require at least one class be included. So um, let me see here. So I increase in this problem, I, I increase the, the number of students available and the numbers of courses available and the profitability that I, I took increased from 3, 334 to 6, 662 that I represented in the, I, I represented down. So for a statistic, we had two courses available. Uh, if you can present professor in the second exercise that I did, So, and I have different problems here. One problem I have is everything that Esther said is correct or not? That's the first problem. The second problem I have is if Esther made some errors, shall I punish her or let her to fix it and forgive the fact that she made errors as long as she will fix it. And then I have Abraham. And Abraham wants to take that class as a writing intensive class. Esther doesn't take it as a writing intensive class. So for Abraham, I want to have a report that he will write in plain English what is happening in such a way that I will pass it to everybody to know what is going on. Abraham will say, man, that's a tough job to do. I need some help. And I will say, good, you get your help. Gail, in the process, she, she look at what is happening and she saw that Abraham registered the class as a writing intensive. Gail said, I need a writing intensive class to finish the course and graduate. Can I take it as writing intensive as well? And the guys at the register office said, no, you have to do something special. I interfere in the case and Gail got a permission and she is also writing intensive. So Abraham got a partner. They have to write the program. No, they don't have to write the program. The program is already written, but they have to write a report. What is this all about? Abraham is not going to do it on his own. Gail is not going to do it in her own. They will cooperate. Gail, I don't see you. Where are you? Talk. If you talk, you will appear. Gail. Gail is the one of the few people that they appear in the class right away. Gail. Hi, Professor. Gail. Hi. Gail, you're going to work with Abraham. I want a report. In that report, I want you to know what actually is this part that I underline and everybody sees. And I want you to be able to do two things. One is to tell me what Esther said. If Esther made a mistake, I want to find out what is a mistake. And unlike most of the professors that they say, I'm not gonna let you to work together. I don't have a problem, go on and work together. And I would not count that as cheating as long as you know two things and you learn two things from the process. The first thing I want you to know is what Esther said which means I want you to pay attention. And if you pay attention to what happened to Esther, then I want you to tell me if Esther made something that is not clear or 
as a professor, I say that was a mistake. And I don't want that mistake to be repeated. But in class, besides all of you, I have Adre. And Adre, yesterday that called, he said, listen, professor, I like what you see here, but I'm a manager and I don't have four people in four projects. I have 250 people in about 20 different projects. And I want, when I finish this class, to know how to allocate and how to follow all of these 250 people in all these 50 different projects that are involved. The reason that Andre is taking this is not to just figure out what is happening with this example, but take this example and put it to his work. He has 250 people. Professor, in about uh, 10 different projects. 2,500 people. <laughs> okay, he increased it with one zero. And he wants to know what's happening to each one of them. Is this clear? And I want to know what Esther said. So I'm going on to see what one of my good students can say. Usually when I start the class, I get Robert and Robert is there. Today was not the first one, so I'm going to punish him. What did Esther say? And feel free to correct what she said. <laughs> Thanks, Professor. Okay. Um... What she basically said was that the coefficients she set up uh, based on the classes and that they're able, you're able to change. Hold on a minute. I'm, I'm in business. I don't know what is coefficient and I don't care if you go to school and you do things with coefficients. I want you to tell me what is there in plain English. Okay, so student, I'm uh, sorry, you have the uh, professors and the classes they teach. Um, they are set up uh, to maximize Correct. The efficiency. Let me interrupt you here. Do I have in the underlying part anything with respect to students? Those are only professors that are listed. Good. Did Esther, when she described, said anything about students? No. Esther, did you say anything about students? Yes, I put, I increased Good. the number Stop of... Thank you. Guy is recording everything. So whatever is said is recorded. And Esther said something about students. We don't have any students there. What do we have? We have something that Robert said we have coefficients and i said i don't want to know what is the coefficient and if i would let robert talk he would say that we have also variables and i would say also i don't care about variables but robert would say hold on a minute i'll explain it in plain english so i want to know what is a coefficient and what is a variable. But when Abraham will write a report, I don't want to see anything about coefficients and variables there. So my question is, what is a variable? And what is a coefficient? You look at this, right? I can go on and magnify it even further. You look at this. And as you look at this, you see there are different colors. There are black and there are blue. I don't like it like this, even if it's large. I can make it even larger, but I don't like it like this because I want to see it in organized way. If I look at it in organized way, I can see something that is helpful for address. What address is here is that my information 
is organized in a similar way that if I go on and I look things in Excel and I take all of the Excel information, I can see it like this. I can have something right now that is this one and Andre is going to have something much larger like this one. How larger Andre is going to have? As many as he wants. But he wants to work on this case so he can make utilization of that case. And that's why Andre is in the college. He is using a tool. That tool organizes the material in a matrix. A matrix has a row. And a matrix has a column. It doesn't matter how many rows and how many columns we have. A matrix is something that is organized by rows and by columns. Is this clear? And I want to go on and see what I have here. I have a row. I'll take this row here. And this row refers to a given name, Williams. And I have another row. This is Myers. And this is Smith. And this is Anderson. And my question is, what is a row in that particular case? Can you be able to talk to me? And Taiwa is going to say, you're from Nigeria, right? Taiwa, you're from Nigeria, correct? Yes, Professor. Good. And Taiwa was going to say, in Nigeria, we have a row. And the row means what? And when Taiwa came into the class, he opened the door and he looked at me. He said, are you Professor Adamu? I said, yes. He said, you don't look like a Nigerian. Am I a Nigerian? Tell you, am I Nigerian? Um, yeah, you're not. Yeah, my name is Nigerian name. One of the most prominent Muslim families in Nigeria, right? Yeah. So what is a matrix? Matrix is rows and columns. I take it column wise. I see here, everything is statistics. I see here, everything is management. I see here, everything is finance. I see here, everything is economics. And I want to know, what do I try to do here? I have information. All of this is organized as an information in matrix. And what I want to do here is specified by a given command. And that command is to maximize. And I want to know what do I want to do to be maximum. And I don't have a clue. But Gail and Abraham, they have to write a report by tomorrow. And I need to go on and ask again, Esther, you sent me that. What do you mean? And she needs to say it in such a way that all of you would be able to know what is happening. And Abraham and Gail will write the report, but I don't want to look at the report. I'm going to hire a manager to go on and look at the report. And I'm going to pass that job to a person that 
I like also one of the most. And Kadisa said, Professor, I cannot work with, oops. So what is happening? I turn off things around. Kadisa said, <coughs> Professor, I don't have computer. Can I do it? I said, don't worry about it. As long as Esther and Robert have a computer, as long as Abraham and Gail would write a report. I don't want you to have a computer. I want you to look at the report and tell me what is happening because I want to make you a manager. And she says, that's a deal. What is a manager? The one that does the dirty job. And I want to know what is the objective that we want to maximize here? Can we find it? And I'm going to ask my note care, the one that keeps all the notes. Do you see any lady with a nice son next to her to keep all the notes? Isabel. Isabel, what do I want to do here? Um, you're looking to see which which teacher can can teach a certain subject and still get the money that they are deserved. And you want to be cost effective, so you want to place the teacher who can teach a certain class, but you can pay them the least to do the same job. Good. Marie, do you agree with everything as is Isabel is going to tell you? She told you. Yes, I I agree with what she's saying. They're looking to find a way to organize the professors for um, the then course. You, you agree after you get everything back as a video I want to write down all of you what Isabel said, and I want you to keep in your writing report only whatever I get from this information. Nothing less, but nothing more. And Isabel said something about it, but not exactly what is there. And Isabel said something about cost efficient. Do I have anything that is cost efficient there? Is my question. And what do I want to do? And the reason that Andre is taking this class is not because he wants to pass the class, nor because he wants to get an A. He can take a deep minus. As long as he's going to go to work tomorrow and he's going to put this 2,500 people that are working in about 50 different projects in such a way that he can use that information. If he can do that, he doesn't mind for the D. If he cannot do that, then his A is useless. And I want you to tell me exactly what you see there. And Gail, I want you to pay attention. Gail, I want you to pay attention. And Gail, I want you to communicate with Abraham. And all of you, I want you to tell me only what you see there. And what you see there is mainly rows and columns. The columns are defined by the variable. The rows are defined by a specific coefficient. What do they tell you? And what do you want to maximize is my question. Let's start from the simple case. Damien, what do I want to maximize? Um, I'm I'm guessing that it's the course of the course availability. 
But do you want to maximize the cost? I don't see costs. I just see availabilities. I don't see them with numbers right now. What do you want to maximize? I guess Here. which which professor? Here it says maximize. You say maximize. What do you want to maximize? What you want to do is what you said. You want to put different professors to teach different classes. What you want to do is you want to allocate people to different jobs. But what do you want to maximize is the question that Adre has. Stephanie, can you tell me? Taiwa, can you tell me? Francisco, can you tell me? Kadisa wants to tell me. Um, professor, yeah, can I try? Yeah. <laughs> so, according to what I'm seeing, there's these are different professors, right? Different classes economics, finance, management, and statistics. And according to the objective, you're trying to ma maximize the courses that are available, but you have to look at the rate no, of I'll each stop professor. You. What do I try to maximize? What do I how many, to maximize? How many courses we can take? Robert, what do I try to maximize? You're maximizing efficiency. Good. You maximize the efficiency. You maximize the best performance. Why do I teach this class? Is my question. And I don't teach another class. Can okay, I you teach said you're trying class to better than efficiency. someone else or not? You said you're trying to maximize, maximize efficiency in what? That's my next question. And efficiency is what? The same to all of them or not? Uh, no, I think it'll vary between professors. Depending on no, it, will, it will change depending on the professor. So what do you maximize? Let's go on and see. Robert said that this is a coefficient. What kind of a coefficient? That says how Anderson is related with statistics. This is also a coefficient. How Anderson is related with management. This is also a coefficient that says how Anderson is related with finance and how Anderson is related with economics. Who is giving me this information? I get this information from Anderson or I get this information from you guys. So when I start the class, I ask question to ask Giovanni. Why did I ask her? Why did you take this class? What did she say? But it fits my schedule. All of you take a class that fits your schedule, or some of you take a class in the morning and a class in the afternoon and a class in the evening. I asked Isabel, are you going to take this class? And that was before the term. And she said, is this a good professor? 
I said, what do you want to do? She said, I want to take a class with a good professor. I don't care about my schedule. What is the difference between Isabel and Tascovani? They have different objectives. One wants to have the best schedule. The other does not want to have the best schedule. What does he want to have? The best and based teacher. upon the difference in the objective, you have different results. And I go further down. And if I go further down, I want to see what is happening here. And I see the same information. What I see here is the coefficients that I have here at the beginning. But as I have these coefficients, what do I see? I don't know. Gail has to write a report. Gail wants to know. Esther gave me this information. What is happening with this case here? And as Esther takes it and looks at that stuff, she looks at this thing and she says, oh no, I made a mistake. This is not 35, this is 65. And she makes a correction. And if she makes a correction, based upon that correction, she goes on and gets another solution, shift under, and has another solution. The question now is, I have another outcome. What is this information here? Esther, can you tell me? Um, as I, I consider, Professor, this is the, the limits of um, professors. Sorry, this is the limit of classes that the professors can have between 30 and 88 in, in, this, in the first case. 44, 83 between, so cannot be more than that. In other words, what these numbers are telling you? That between um, these numbers, the professor uh, cannot, um, so there, there won't be a, a probability of, you know, to have a solution. Okay, if you look at these numbers, I'm asking the question differently. Can you tell me who is a good professor to teach what class? Okay. Because Adre wants to know out of these 2,500 people, who is good to do what? Mayors is good to do echo, echo. So what is this? information that you have here and is any other way to write that information and Dam Damian would go on and besides this correction here he will make another change so he will go here and take this number and write them completely different. I have a question. Sorry. I'm listening. Yeah, I, uh, my internet fell out, so I didn't hear uh, what the numbers were for, the 30 um, and 88, I didn't know I'm not clear on what those are because I got kicked off. Okay, you at the end of the class, we're going to send you the video and you're going to be go back and see what is happening. And I had a few changes. We made a correction here. 
professor. We made a change here. And we can also make something different. We can take this information from here and we can write it completely different. We can put this is 68 estimate that can go down 20%. Or we have an estimate 68 that can increase 15%. And I want you to know these three different ways of putting things in my ranges. What do I have here? I have a range. For everyone, I have a range. What is the range? The range is of how I have their performance perceived. I go on to the professors and I look how the students evaluate them. They evaluate Williams in management being as bad as 25 points or as good as having 72 points. Every professor is evaluated for every class with a lower and a higher limit. We go to Andre. Andre has 2,500 people, they can work in different cases. He wants to know the lowest and the highest point of each one of these people. And that can be done either in an explicit way. What is explicit way? I spell it out or in a relative way. What is a relative way? You can go up and down a given percentage. When it goes up and down a given percentage, you can be able to have it either in a symmetrical or non-symmetrical way. If you want to say that you went down by 20%, you wrote this wrong. Because if you go but down by 20%, that's 80% performance. 8% means that it went down really much further. You go on and you make the change. If it goes down 20% or it goes up 15%, this is how much you can go up and down from a given estimate. That estimate may be the same, but it may be by model. And I want you to write down because by model is something that you see all the time in reality, never in any textbook so far. What is by model? And I want Jerry to write down what is by model. Or can go up and down in an explicit way or in a very specific way by how many units can go down or how many units can go up. So that means in this area here, you specify what is happening with the professors, how they're evaluated in given classes. If this is done, you have it you solve it and what is happening here it's still running why it's running when i change things i have a problem where is the problem do i have a problem yes 
Yes, I do. I see my brackets are red. If my brackets are red, that means that I have a problem. I need to go on and fix the problem. I go on and I see what I can do. I need my brackets to be different. How I will do it? I will go out and I will start that again. And if I want to start over again, I'll go on and see what Esther gave me. This is Esther's work, right? You see it? I want to see what is the problem. I got to the problem. I see the problem that is this here. I run the problem and I have it done. This is what I want to be able to do. Why? Because Andrea wants to take it as an idea and go back to work and use it. And we want to have something else. Damien asks a question. And he says, Professor, is this problem balanced 